what turned the game around for you guys? Um, I don't know. I mean, we tonight was a struggle. You could just see it. Um, you know, you come off the game last night, and um, you know, I just thought it was a mental struggle for us. I thought we we hung in there long enough to just keep it close enough. You know, uh, come on in. Yeah, come relax, man. You guys want tailor-made equipment? That's the guy right there, by the way. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's golf gear for you guys that don't know what that is. So, um, Anyway, so yeah, I just thought it was a mental struggle for us tonight. Um, and um, But we, we hung in there long enough, and then in the fourth quarter, we got enough stops. Now, give Orlando credit, you know. There's a bunch of guys right now, when you look at them and they're out of the playoff, yet they're, they're, they're making you play hard. They're not just rolling over, you know. And so that's a uh, testimony to Frank and his whole group. They, they competed tonight. Was it just a matter of you guys getting stops? Uh, yeah, we point? didn't get stops. We didn't move the ball either in the first half. I think we had eight assists in the first half. Um, you know, we missed shots, but uh, I just thought in the second half that there was better ball movement. Uh, I thought we were more active on defense, and, and so we won the game. Was this reminiscent of the uh, Brooklyn game where you had to put this team away? Yeah, Brooklyn's a good offensive team. You know, they're, they're really good. And so we anticipated that, that to, you know, Brooklyn has done it all year. You know, um, tonight was just more of a mental struggle for us and give them credit that they kept attacking. Uh, you know, they had a chance. We jumped on them right away. A lot of teams go away right from the beginning. They actually, you know, Frank calls a timeout, and they, they come out and make a run on us. So um, it was just, you know, listen, this – I think people think uh, they, they look at the records in the NBA and they just think, well, you're going to win. And, and that just doesn't happen. You know, uh, those are professional players. And you have to play well uh, to win an NBA game. Uh, and we played just well enough. And you survived the weekend, three-game road trip. What do you anticipate on this road trip? Tough games. Every game, uh, we just got to keep our focus. Uh, we got to keep the one game at a time uh, mantra, which we've kept, kept all year. Um, Again, I, I have a great group. Every night we, we can change the lineups. Nobody complains. Everybody's always ready. Certain nights some guys play, other guys don't play. And no one cares. They just want to win. And that's why we're winning games. What would be one word to describe this team and why? Boy, I don't know. It's so many. Uh, gut would be one. I mean, just, just, uh, just you know, determined, uh, tough. You know, all the words, the positive words that if you were, uh, wanted someone to um, describe any of us in this room, uh, that's this team. It's all those single words, and uh, that's what makes them so good. We're, we're individually not as good, but collectively we're really good, and that's, that's nice. Did you sense any fatigue? Did you see any fatigue? I saw it, you know, early on. I think uh, the first play of the game, Austin goes downhill. Second play, someone else goes downhill. Third, someone else. And then we take like 30 jump shots in a row. And usually, you know, when you think just, if you just thought about it, like it always happens when t guys are tired, they shoot more jump shots. Logically, you should actually drive more. Uh, your jump shots are all going to be short. But it's easier to take a jump shot. And uh, on nights when we're tired, we tend to, to set up for more shots. Uh, Wes Johnson seemed to make plays when it yeah. sounded in matter. What was uh, his performance for you? It was good. I mean, Wes's job is to be an energy player for us. You know, him and Sam Decker, uh, we have guys that you throw in there, and we want energy, instant energy, and uh, Wes did that tonight. Uh, to Adosic, that's not the fastest guy on the court. Sometimes it shows, but also in a game like this, I think uh, his basketball IQ, reading the game, helping the performance. Yeah, I thought Milos was huge tonight. Um, you know, we had that great defensive lineup and Lou and Milo showing the floor in the fourth quarter, which we actually tried to avoid, but they made plays. Uh, but I thought Milo's jump uh, scoring tonight uh, was huge for us as well. You know, he was aggressive. The thing I love about Milo's is that he's a winner. Like, you can, you can feel it. He's competitive. And in games like these, that's when he's his best. When he, we needed someone to be competitive tonight, and I thought Milo's was that. Uh, Doc, Lou's averaging over five assists on the year, very high for him, but he had none tonight. When you look at that, is that a little misleading? No, he didn't pass. He shot a lot. <laughs> it's not misleading at all. <laughs> but he has nice like that. I want Lou to stay aggressive. You know, I would say this. I thought he had four or five where there could have been assists. You know, it was one of those nights uh, where guys did miss some shots, you know, and you're not going to get 
your assist when guys are missing shots. But I thought Luke did the right things most of the night. He made the right plays. Do you think he'll stick with that starting lineup going? I, I doubt it. You know, uh, we will at times. You know, right now it's, it's been a good starting lineup for us because it's getting us out to lead. You know, um, and I like what we're doing with with uh, Bo, Bobby and uh, and. Uh, and Trez, I think I like that combination as well. So we're just going to keep moving around the rest of the guys inside of that. What specifically do you like about that? that, that uh, it creates size. Uh, I mean, at, uh, putting a four on Trez has been tough for the fours, and that's why we're doing it. You have to put a five on Bobby, so you, you're left with putting a four on Trez. And uh, Trez can guard fours, but it's hard for fours to guard Trez. So uh, it gives the second units a punch. And, and I like that. Do you see a chemistry between those two? Definitely, definitely. Uh, well, we, there's chemistry with him with everybody. I mean, he just plays the right way. He, he keeps the game simple. Uh, he makes the right play. So I think he's got chemistry with the whole team. Sindarius got in early foul trouble. What do you yeah. think of his second start so far? Uh, tonight wasn't as good as last night. You know, um, he's just a tough, rough guy, and so is Simmons. So that combination tonight, created fouls. Um, you know, he, he'll learn. Like, he had a couple of them early where he didn't have to foul, and then they came back to haunt him. So uh, I still love the way he's playing. I mean, he's, he's just a tough kid. Oh, he's becoming a folk hero here in Staples, though. Yeah. As long as we're winning, I'm all for it. You know. All right, guys. Um, I'm not going to see you tomorrow. I'll see you either. I can say something else. But, uh, <laughs> good luck.